Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to discuss nozzle diffusers. So nozzle diffusers are more common in Europe than the US, but we're seeing them more and more over here. Nozzle diffusers, sometimes called punka diffusers or eyeball diffusers, look something like this. So we'll start with the circle and let's take off a little spot here for the inlet and for the outlet. And then this would sit in kind of a frame, which is what it would attach to your duct work. So although we call them nozzle diffusers, nozzles are really the opposite of diffusers. In a diffuser, the inlet has a smaller cross-sectional area than the discharge. So the velocity of the air decreases as it leaves the diffuser. A nozzle, on the other hand, has a larger inlet than outlet. So the velocity increases as it goes through the nozzle. This gives nozzle diffusers long throws. For instance, our TNDAA with a 10 inch neck and 170 CFM has a T50 throw, a throw at 50 feet per minute at 44 feet. A similar size grill, like our 300RL at 170 CFM, has a T50 of 25 feet. Nozzle diffusers have an intersection that can be adjusted and rotated so you can direct where you want the air to go. So this section here can move up and down, kind of like how your eyeball would move up and down in the frame. So you'd rotate this section to direct the airstream to where you want it to go. Let's make a little room. Now the TNDAA also has an aperture damper. So if you were to look into the face of this diffuser, you would see a little piece of metal here that can be opened and closed. This damper allows you to adjust the airflow from the face of the diffuser. So this would be looking in right here. So nozzle diffusers are good for spot cooling and for long throw applications. They're good where you require pattern flexibility and jet direction control. So you're likely to see these in airports, lobbies, theaters, and sports arenas, those types of places. So that's the nozzle diffuser. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the time out with us.